Hey, yo, everybody, welcome back to Gran Turismo 3. Are you ready to finish this race off, you guys? The SS All Night. Ooh. Set me free, game, set me free. car it's gonna give us. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter what car it gives us, because the only race that we have left in the game is the Formula One Championship. So I mean, unless it, well, even if it gives us a Formula One car, whoa, we already have our Formula One car. Come on. <clears throat> it's just sitting in the garage, waiting. second I was like what is that all I hear is <laughs> coming into my right right earpiece <laughs> like what the hell is that <laughs> sounded like there was a missile behind me or something just off to my right Whoa. sorry <laughs> cold tires
<laughs> He's like, I'm in last anyways. Man, that guy in the Jaguar, even though he's in last place, he's the only one that's actually been racing fair. Well, and the Zonda as well. The Zonda is sort of... So there's three people in this race that are racing like idiots, and then there's three people in this race that are racing like normal human beings. Me, me, the Zonda, and the XJ are racing like normal human beings, and our sister, the 787, and definitely the Corvette are driving like idiots. Hey, 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 stop licking, stop licking. No more licking. <laughs> licking is bad, don't you know? Don't you know, Sophia? I'm so glad I went off camera, you know, spent like three and a half hours of my, whoa, of my own time off camera to get this car just to use it for this race, you know, like, man. And the funniest part about it, uh, if you've been keeping up with every episode, <coughs> I, uh, when I went to get this car the first time off camera, uh, I actually did the wrong championship, so I sat there for like four hours much for nothing. <laughs> it's a pretty good kick to the nuts. I was like, God damn it. Because I, I knew I would just have to do the actual championship, right? But it wasn't in, until finishing the 10th race that I realized I did the wrong championship. <laughs> I was supposed to do Gran Turismo All-Stars, but I did the Gran Turismo World Championship in Professional. That's where you get this car. Gran Turismo All-Stars Professional. That's where you get this car. Hey, there she is. Looking as beautiful as ever. Don't hit me. Oh, you motherfucker. Bro, I'm evil as fuck. You don't know me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I back off too. <laughs> oh, I was gonna push him right into the uh, pit divider wall. Well, if he had kept on pressing. But he hit his brakes and backed off because I, <laughs> I think he knew what I was gonna do there. Zonda pitting in. What do you think this is? Yeah, that's right. You can't drive like me, bro. <laughs> Fucking AI can't even drive like me, son. of the uh, left front headlight. 
and then you can see the other mirror is actually just off to the right of the uh, uh, mirror, or, or just to the right of the mirror, you guys. Yeah, the, <laughs> the right mirror is on top of the door, just off to the left of the uh, cockpit, or just off to the right of the cockpit, pardon me. better if I look back. Yeah, second here to uh, <laughs> to get through this uh, curvy section. And when we get onto the big straightaway there, I'll look back. If you haven't spotted that right mirror yet, it's easy obviously to spot the left one because it's literally sticking up, right? The one on the right is, uh, <clears throat> it doesn't have, uh, um, like the one on the left is on top of a little stick, but the one on the right is actually, a, like, attached to, like, a little piece of metal. And it's much farther back. Yeah, look on the left side there. Pretty weird stuff, eh? GT1's so cool, man. It's just where the driver is sitting inside the GT1. Because uh, if you put the mirrors both in the same spot, uh, the one in the right would actually be completely useless to the driver. Whoa. It would be within his view spectrum, but where he's sitting in the car, the only thing that he would actually be looking at would be the... Uh, the back wheel well of the car and part of the spoiler. That'd be the only thing you'd be able to see. So by bringing it back towards the windows a little bit, towards the driver a little bit more, you actually give them a, a wider view path by bringing the mirror closer, right? So it's like if you put a little small mirror on the other side of the room, Right, you'll barely be able to see anything through the mirror, but if you go six inches away from the mirror, you can see the rest of the entire room behind you, right? It's all about perspective. So by bringing the mirror closer, you're actually opening up the uh, view angle, as I was trying to say there. You're basically giving the driver like twice as much to look at in that tiny little mirror that's there. In a race car, the only thing you're actually looking for, whoa, in your mirror, is uh, headlights. <laughs> That's it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it's really the only thing that you're looking for in your mirrors in real life when you're driving a car like this, like Le Mans, is uh, headlights. If you don't see headlights, you're good. <laughs> things about the GT1 though has always been just the the windshield the the front windshield how it wraps all the way around the car like that look at that shit like a fucking UFO man love it it's like a horseshoe horseshoe shaped windshield you know what I mean that's so cool the perfectly molded roof scoop up all that fresh air for this big giant V8 dual overhead cam that's in this monster.
<laughs> hey, dumbass. Stop right there and let the XJ take over and finish in front of you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> because you fucking suck. <laughs> finish this race. Yeah, 
miss us all night, you guys. Yeah. Woo. Woo. 540 in slant parallel park that bitch. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Hell yes. The 787 holds it down, you guys. GT1 sister in third. Pagani Zonda in fourth. Corvette in fifth place. And uh, sad day <laughs> for the Jaguar XJ220. Oh. oh my god, you guys, the only thing we have left is the Formula One Championship. That's it. And this race took just over an hour and a half. Hey, there's the Zonda beside us. <laughs> How's it going, man? Just waiting for the sister to cut through the line there. Just so that nobody's like, hey, you didn't let the GT1 finish the race, man. How do we know? <laughs> GT1's coming around to the line right now. Two seconds. Oh, bam. There it is, you guys, the final standing. A uh, nice half a million dollars. Holy crap, we almost have 10 million bucks. <laughs> it's just because we have no purpose for money anymore. Oh, I'm going to turn around for the last time ever, you guys. Oh, I'm turning around. I'm turning around. What's it going to be? I'm turning back around. It's a Camaro race car. <laughs> Yeah! Endurance complete! Oh, baby! Now that's a nice color. That's the F094H. Woo! Look at that, you guys. 97.9% .9 complete. Yeah, that's the F094H. Oh. By make. But we have the F094S. Which was Ayrton Senna's car. Bum, bum, bum. And it's all black and on the attack as well. Big black and on the attack. There's no other way to go. That's our weapon, you guys, for the Formula One Championship. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Gran Turismo 3. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, I'm beyond excited. Beyond excited to do the, um, <laughs> the Formula One Championship. It's gonna be crazy. Why not? Why not? Do a random race. Uh, Rome, what do we got? What do we got here? Trial Mountain? Let's kick up a race in Trial Mountain, you guys. In the, this is the car that we're going to be using for the Formula One Championship. So, <laughs> Can't change tires on a Formula One car, if you're wondering. Happy. Get used to it. 
stop. Oh, I'm gonna have to basically remember how to drive Formula One before I can uh, even really enter that championship. Not to mention I was just driving a freaking Toyota GT1. Can you please stop licking yourself? Like, it's so aggressively annoying, it's like borderline ridiculous. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Let's watch the re see the replay. Jesus. Listen to that. Don't worry you guys, I, I will practice <laughs> for a few days before we do the uh, Formula One championship. I'll practice for a little bit. So this car will have a little bit of mileage on it. <laughs> like I'll practice off camera and stuff like that. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, thank you guys for coming out and watching this episode of Gran Turismo 3, you guys. Oh my god. In the next episode, we'll be getting into the Formula 1 Championship, you guys. Which is the last race in this game. So once the Formula 1 Championship is over, that's actually it for Gran Turismo 3, man. Holy crap. Yeah, man, thank you guys for coming out and watching this episode. Uh, episode, you guys. <laughs> episode. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. Man, I freaking love you guys. You know, and I wish you the total best in everything you do. And I hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. And uh, I'll see you guys in the Formula One Championship, man. So be sure to have a good. Bye-bye.